Hello everyone and welcome back to 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. In the last session we began the game and discovered that there is a lot going on and it'll be a while before we understand it. So, let's load up where we were. We have just unlocked Takatoshi Hiji Hijiyama. Let's see where things go. Sure. Sure. Takatoshi Hijiyama. Gotta, gotta try and imprint these names. Sundown, 1944. Okay. This is 40 years before Looks what like we were... Looks like they're starting to panic down there. 41 years before what we were the seeing. The sooner I'm out of here, the better. In the last part. That's weird. Someone changed the shifter's access key, huh? Not that it matters. Kiriko-san! Huh? So, you came after me, Hijiyama-kun. This has to be some misunderstanding. You can't be a spy, can you? Hmm. Sounds like the professor, all right. Oh. Hello. Kiriko Duji. Why did you run off? The military's looking for you. They think you stole some kind of intel. I'm gonna guess she but did. You're the professor's daughter. You can't be a spy. It doesn't make sense. Sorry to break it to you. I'm not his daughter. The real Kiriko Doji is still over in Tokyo. What? Stolen identity. But the whole spy thing's kind of a stretch. I don't need to steal any secrets on the Sentinels. I'm the one who built them, after all. Sentinels added to Thought Cloud. Okay, let's have us a consider. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... Doji. Professor Doji led the Sentinel project for her efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? Unsure, let's ask. If you're not the real Kiriko, then... Then who are you? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Or maybe... This really isn't about who I am. Maybe it's just about what you feel towards me. I... Uh, <sighs> My dude is blushing. I'm not sure I believe this. You built them? Yeah, that was me. I drew up the designs in an editor. Then I just had to send the order into an automated factory. But that's... No, you're probably just confused. That's all. <laughs> yeah, that must be it. I even implanted the linking component into your head. Though you wouldn't remember, of course. Anesthesia and all. When you came to the factory, you said you were there on behalf of the professor. It was as good a cover story as any. You got played, my dude. Anything else to say? You're kind of a simple guy. Oh. There's something about you, though. What are you even saying? I'm saying I'm gonna miss you. Oh, well, that's all right, then. But my key just finished decrypting. <laughs> so, that's it. This is goodbye. Damn, I wish I could exit conversations like that. Kiriko-san? She vanished? That's impossible. Drop an absolute zinger of a one-liner and then just fucking teleport out of there. That'd be great. It was barely a moment. She can't have had time to run into the mountains. No, she clearly fucking vanished right in front of your eyes in a... Where did Kiriko-san go? In a flash of blue light. I mean, if you, <laughs> you, you witnessed her summon all these like displays and stuff around you, it can't be that much of a leap to think she could vanish somehow. Someone's coming. He's the one who snuck into the factory. There's something fishy about him. But let's have a chat. If he's working with her, then he might know where she's gone. I'll hide behind a tree and see what he's up to. 
Okay. This tree? No, this tree? Hide behind tree. Very sneaky. Tokisaka Shrine, huh? If this log is right, Okino just crossed over. Might still catch up if I'm fast. Coordinates read Sector 4 in the year 1984. Is this the guy that Fuyusaka ran into? Is that her name? Fuyusaka? Is there any way to check? Can I... View term information discovered so far. Oh, hello. Okay. Mystery files contain detailed information on events, characters, and important terminology. Use mystery points acquired in destruction to gain access to sealed mystery files. Destruction is the... Is the, uh, like the... The what you call it, the mech battle portion of the game. As the story progresses, these files provide answers to mysteries related to the individuals and incidents that occur. You can unlock these answers by completing the protagonist's events, receiving them as battle rewards, and by using the mystery points you obtain through fighting kaiju. Okay. Interesting. The documents in the nurse's office can be unsealed. I have no mystery points at the moment, though. But we can look at Juro. 16-year-old boy from Sakura High School, he loves B-movies and enjoys watching kaiju videos every night. While soft-spoken and good-natured, he feels something off about his everyday life, and one day finds himself summoning a giant robot for real. <laughs> yeah, he sure did. And that was a bit of a surprise. Uh, Fuyusaka, that's the one. So the guy that we're watching, he's the one that ran into her in, at school 41 years in the future, right? And she was like, hey, he's not wearing our school clothes. I wonder if he's from a different school. He's from a different time. Although the fact that they're using this technology in 1944 means that he's probably from a different time too, I guess, than what we're seeing here. Anyway, she's a female student in the same class as Juro, Juro Karabe. She's an ordinary cheerful girl who's hard not to like. Though her GPA is average, she excels and fails in specific subjects. Fuyusaka is Mawako Sawatari's childhood friend and used to be classmates with Shu Amiguchi and Natsuno Minami too. Amiguchi's the one that Juro was talking to in Fuyusaka's section and Natsuno is the first girl that walked into the class also in Fuyusaka's section. Uh, due to the strange dreams she's been having, she suffers from insomnia, oversleeps and even frequently dozes off in class. One morning in her rush to get to the school on time, Fuyusaka literally runs into Ai Sekigahara at the front gate. It's love at first sight. Okay, we don't actually know this guy's name yet, do we? Maybe he said it. Maybe I just forgot. But, so that must be who we're watching. Uh, what's Event Archive? Huh. Okay, so... Yeah, yeah. That's okay, this is cool. It shows you it shows you everything that you've done, all the different scenes, the events. Makes sense. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's back out for now. Oh, the event archive. Okay, it's part of that. Okay. Shall we emerge from behind the tree? Hello, motherfucker. Give it up. There's nowhere to run. The Suspicious Man. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko-san, came along with him, but... What does it mean if this isn't her? So, and also, he, the one on the right, said that... Was it, like, on Oniko or something had just used it, which was her? And then the mech that our guy was using in the future... The other dude said, G Guta, Guto, or something, said was her mech. <laughs> oh man, there's, I'm really liking, like, already I'm start, I'm piecing, like, little bits together here and there. And obviously, like, it's gonna scale up hugely as we go forward and unlock more and more and more characters. But, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm already feeling like they're doing a really good job of this non-linear storytelling. You know Kiriko Doji? Yeah. I knew it. Though that wasn't actually her, of course. Is that really true? She said something along those lines, too. She, huh? Must have been pretty convincing, then. 
Uh, what? His real name is Sukasa Okino. He wears that stuff for his own reasons. But don't joke about that. Okay, that was very convincing. Confuse me. This can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Interesting. Hijiyama. So you're the spy. But there's no escaping me now. <sighs> what are you doing here? If I told you, you'd laugh in my face. Try me. Answer me. Or I'll do more than laugh at you. Wow. Threatening. I'm going to time travel to another era. Is that a joke? Or are you just insane? <sighs> to another time. He's just playing games with me. Time travel? Really? This is reality. Not some petty dreadful. I love time travel stories, man. You're going to time travel, huh? Try a better story next time. This Kiriko Doji of yours? He did it himself just moments ago. You literally watched it happen. Escaped from here into the future. I'm not falling for your lies. I don't have time for this. Step back. I'm going after him. Well... So you do know where she went. Where? Show me. You don't want to get caught in this shift. Keep your distance. Right, your time travel. I'd like to see you try it. I think you're about to. Don't say I didn't warn you. Bye bye <laughs> That's a cool image. Sunset, Kaede River Riverbed. Back in 1985. <laughs> Starting to think he ain't gonna show. He knows you'd beat his ass watching my son. Probably shitting his pants right now. Turned tail and ran, huh? Guess he didn't have the balls after all. Whoa, hold it. What? I'm just eating my hot dog, man. Wait, is this this is him, right? We're still we're still playing as the guy we were just playing as, but obviously a long time later because now he's got long hair. Interesting. Yaki soba pan. Noodles stir fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world, but if there's one exception, it's my yaki soba pan. <laughs> right, yeah, this is uh. His, from his own time, he wouldn't. They wouldn't know about the war and everything. Or no, they would know. It was the 40s, right? So the war would have been going on, and uh, now it's a long time after it's ended. Don't give me that shit. Nearly knocked my freaking arm out of its socket. You want to apologize? Oh, did I hit you? Sorry about that. You're sorry. Sorry, don't pay my goddamn hospital bills. You're not Sorry. going to. I don't have money. <laughs> if that's what you're after. You're not going to hospital, you dickhead. Wait, Wajima-san. I heard about him. People have been talking about this guy. He's the one who's been snatching all the jackets. The hell? Wait. Is this yeah. true? Are you a jacket thief? This guy's wearing one of our uniforms. Oh, so you know the guy who owned this. <laughs> I don't have any relatives around. I'm basically homeless at the moment. So the clothes and the cash were a really big help. He was a generous guy. Tell him I said thanks. Lamau. Take care. Savagery. Absolute savagery. Hey, don't you walk away. Come on! Oof. My yaki soba pan. He's not gonna be happy with that. I didn't even get a single bite. <laughs> Deck him. You just made a big mistake, punk. Oh, the punk. Got a problem with me, buddy? You're the one who's about to have a problem. You 
heard them, boys. Sick them. Oh. <laughs> Stop! We're sorry! You better be. Look, we'll get you another snack, man. Out of boy. No mercy for people who waste food. Especially Yaki Soba Pon. I guess he'd be used to rationing and stuff, right? What the hell happened? I thought you called me out for a fight, Wajima. Someone want to tell me what I missed here? And who are you? A friend of theirs? The one they were waiting for? I'm Nenji Ogata from Sakura High. I didn't ask you to fight my battles, pal. I didn't know that there was a battle coming, pal. Nenji Ogata. Wait, it's you. You're that jacket snatcher. <laughs> uh, Hijiyama or something. Everyone's heard of me. Takatoshi Hijiyama. At your service. I told them I didn't need the help. But they wouldn't take no for an answer. Yeah, I'll bet. Drop the tough guy act already. I could say the same thing. Don't go picking fights you can't win. I've heard enough, douchebag. And you owe me a fight. I owe you a fight? Are you dumb? Do you see what I've just done to these guys? Come at me. Are you are you serious? Oh, you're gonna regret it. <gasps> Hello? Who's that? What the Well look at this. I guess you fit right in here in the 80s. Here I figured I'd have to check up on you. What? <laughs> what? I know that voice. And that face. Wait! Oh no. <laughs> I came for a fight, and I'm getting one. Out of my way, damn it! Put him on the ground. Oh, okay. Before dawn. Looks Higuromo like Cho dawn. abandoned factory alley. This is about where I last saw him. He has to be close by. That bastard kicked like a horse. <laughs> Pretty tough for a thug. He almost had me for a moment there. Interesting. Okay. Anything we can interact with over here? I can run. Got to remember. Looks like it's locked. All right. Can I find a key or oh? Hi. Guess you found me. Okay, so this is who we saw, right? Kiriko-san. Were you looking for me all night? Still as reckless as ever, huh? <clears throat> Don't try to talk around it. I... I know who you are under those clothes. I figured you'd be here soon, so... Got some breakfast for you, too. Half a year I've been searching for you. Half a year, thinking of what I'd say to your face. I got you some yakisoba pot. Oh, all is forgiven. You didn't get any yesterday, right? No, I got knocked on the you floor. Got yakisoba pot for me? Hey, look, that, that's not the point. <laughs> Take me back to my own time. We're going, whether you like it or not. And if I say no? How are you going to force what that? What do you do? Push me over? Pin me down? I would never. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? Uh... <laughs> this can't be true, can it? Was the Kiriko Doji I knew really a man? This Tsukasa Okino? Hey man, you like who you like. So you're actually Tsukasa Okino. Why 
Why do you wear women's clothes? Doesn't feel great to hear you say it like that. You weren't complaining when you confessed to me. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly the picture of masculinity anyway. Better than trying to pass as some militant with a buzz cut. So why are you dressed like that now? Because I know you like it. Oh. Uh, oh. You're a funny guy, Hijiyama-kun. <clears throat> let's say some binaries work for me and others don't. This lets me hide the fact that I'm even alive. Okay. Professor Doji led the Sentinel Project for our efforts in the war. His daughter, Kiriko, what does it mean? If right, yeah, okay, we did listen to that. Why disguise yourself as Kiriko-san? Even convincing everyone you were a girl. Professor Doji thought it'd be a good idea. See, he's... Well, all Shikishima's tech really began with him. Shikishima made incredible strides after the war. And a lot of that was thanks to his work. Though it didn't hurt that I taught him about his future's technology. But why? Why would you make that deal with him? For the Sentinel. Okay. Is she serious? She says she built the Sentinel herself, but... So what did you plan to do with the Sentinel? It was an accident that it showed up at all. It was never meant to be there. I mean, come on. You've seen it. You think they could make that back in the 1940s? Probably not, no. Even here in the 80s, it's out of our league. That's not human craftsmanship. It was made in the future, in an automated factory. Let me put it in layman's terms. There was an incident and it got broken. Our goal was to fix it there so it could fight again. But wasn't it meant to be used against the USA? Uh... Then who or what was it made to fight? Big ol' monsters, my dude. Never mind. I have to get back, no matter what. If we can finish the Sentinel Project, we can win the war. You're a good guy, but kind of an open book. You know that? Say whatever you want. I don't care who you really are anymore. Just get me home. I know about the air raids. And Okinawa, Hiroshima, Nagasaki. I can't just let those attacks happen. I can't let those people die. So you did some reading in the history section. Between all the manual labor you've been doing, and your living conditions, or, well, lack thereof. You're a lot more determined than I expected. You've been keeping tabs on me? Well, I mean, you would, wouldn't you? If you if you know someone has come from the 1940s to present day, present day being the 80s, you'd want to keep track of what they were doing there. I do have one suggestion. There's something I still need to do. And that something is here in 1985. I just need you to wait until that's finished. Actually, I'd really appreciate your help with it. It does involve you, after all. When it's finally all over, then you can ask me to do whatever you want. Oh, yeah. How's that sound? Anything I want? No, I... What I want is to go back to my own time. If you're sure. Still, think it over. My base is over there on the second floor. Where are you going? I'm wearing the uniform. Where do you think? School. Oh, right. Your yakisoba pawns on the desk inside. <sighs> wow, was that your stomach? <laughs> You haven't eaten anything since yesterday, huh? Go ahead. The door's unlocked. Cheers. Ah. The uniform's there, but I can't consider it or do anything with it. 
Can I talk to her about it? Or him? I don't know which. I'll go with her. I don't know which she prefers. Hmm. Oh, wait, I can... You can't trick me with food. I'm not an animal. Stop being stubborn and go get some breakfast. <laughs> sure. You can't trick me. Stop being... Okay, if it's red, it means that there's no new dialogue there. Enter the abandoned factory. <laughs> Yakisoba farm has been added to the thought cloud. Okay. Yum, yum, yum. I thought it was a hot dog. It's not a hot dog. Noodles stir fried in sauce and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post war world. But if there's one exception. Wait, okay. So that was just added to the thought cloud now, but it's the same thing he thought about it earlier. Okay. Where do you go now? Maybe he really was just manipulating me. Well, it is Yaki Sobapan. Not much I could do. <laughs> Eat. Well, as long as I've got it. Num 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 num. Down the hatch, mate. Straight down the hatch. So good. The sauce is so sweet yet so spicy. Mm. That hit the spot. Ah, now I can consider the uniform. If he's in that uniform, he's probably going to school. Probably. But what's he trying to accomplish there? Unsure. Let's go find out. For now, I should find Okino again. It won't do me any good if he slips away. I might as well check my old school. Oh, so it's the same school you used to go to in the 40s? Interesting. To be continued. And here we have episode 3 of the tutorial. thing. I don't have much choice. We're going in. Okay, so first gen has more mobility, but I'm guessing less armor then as a as a counterbalance. Victory condition, destroy all kaiju. Lost condition, terminal destroyed. Okay. Using powerful arm armaments will consume energy, energy points, I assume, EP. It's gradually replenished by defeating enemies, but you can replenish it faster by using defend, charge EP. When you use defend, you'll be unable to move Make use of it strategically. Unable to move, but still able to attack? Try using the armament leap attack, which consumes EP. The practice round's over. Okay. 
It's just him this time. That definitely, that, his kaiju, his, not his kaiju, sorry, his sentinel looks different to the ones we've had before. Leap attack costs 50 out of his total of 550. Jumps towards target area and impacts ground kaiju with a shockwave. 450 power. I'm not sure what WT stands for. But, uh... Let's do it. That's just in range, right? Okay, what have we got? Rush attack. A fierce double-fisted barrage attacks ground kaiju several times. Ground kaiju. Okay, okay. This is the fist thing. Right, well, you can get absolutely fucked then. Nice. Okay, uh, our tower's taking some damage. Tackle. Charges toward target area, knocking away gro ground kaiju. Okay. Can I, like... I can go all the way over here with this. There's a whole bunch of them here. Hang on, hang on. Can leap attack go that far? It can. I'm not sure that's worth it, though. We may as well just rush attack, I guess. Well, how does tackle work? Hmm. Let's go with the rush. You can only move along these blue lines. Right, I only just figured that out, lol. Yes. Try again. Nice, okay. They're all attacking. But uh, we've got, we've got time. We've got time. Right. Okay. We can get some good damage on these guys. Let's see. Do it again. Okay, I'm taking a bit of damage, but it's fine. We can rush attack you, get you sorted. Then rush attack you. Hang on, let's get all of these guys in the blast radius. More appearing. More enemies. Is there no end to them? Looks like I made it in time. I'm going to activate Aegis before they overwhelm us. You're that guy from before. What are you scheming? I won't allow it. Wait, Hijiyama kun. Let him handle this. Are you sure? He's about to do something to the saucer. It's all part of the plan. Besides. There's something I want us to try. Fine. I trust you. The terminal has a few defense mechanisms in place. Now that we've got access to them, you should be able to command them yourself. Oh, yeah? Let the terminal attack the kaiju directly. We can make the saucer itself attack them? Let's give this one a shot. This phase plasma EMP. Tutorial Meta Skills. By gathering Meta Chips from defeating enemies, your Meta Gauge in the bottom left will increase. You can use Meta Skills when the gauge is filled up. Open the menu with Triangle and use the Meta Skill Phase Plasma EMP. Unle Terminal unleashes EMP Pulse, halts movement, and drops Aerial Kaiju. One use left. Okay. And it hits everything. It's not like an area of effect. It's just... Fuck them all. Love to see it. What did you just do? The terminal forced a shutdown of designated targets within range. 
That was amazing. Let's fire off some more of those. Don't know if we can do that, but we have a couple other tricks up our sleeve. Let me take a look. The only meta skill you can currently use in battle is Phase Plasma EMP, and you can only use it once. Once terminal enhancements are available, you'll be able to unlock and enhance various skills. You can also increase the number of uses, okay? What next? Alright, okay, so we can't use it again right now, so let's go ahead and rush attack you then, shall we? I think that's just in our range. Is this like, do we have a maximum range? Okay, we do have a maximum range then. The When it turns orange, that's when we get stuck. So we can just reach this guy. Oh, and that maxed us out. Unbelievable. I'm acting like an amateur. With our gauge, but we can't use it again. Right, yes. And, oh nice, we can zoom. Yeah, there's like left and right arrows for terminal enhancement next to the meta skill, but I can't seem to actually access them right now. I guess it's because we don't have anything else. Uh, we can't get over there with a rush, can we? Oh my god, we totally can. Oh my goodness. Aegis activation confirmed. Oh, nice. The timer. All the hostiles in range destroyed themselves like magic. If we had that kind of weaponry, you should have told me. Why bother with the sentinels when we have this? It takes time to activate, and if we get taken out before it's ready, then it's all over. It means the terminal would be fully locked down. Nobody could ever open it again. Is that a bad thing? This is Renya Goto. You were one of the compatible pilots from Sector 5. Who are you communicating with? I'd really rather not deal with this. Don't tell him, Hijiyama-kun. No one. I'm fighting solo. Sentinel signals detected. Sentinels are being activated in another location. Number 17 and number 19. Just how many sentinels are online now? Apparently more than 13, which is the title of the game. Yeah, we made it through. So, confusion. <laughs> why, why is it called 13 sentinels if there are already 19? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. Cool, cool. I'm liking uh, Natsuno Minami's story is now available. I'm liking this uh, this battle system. I, I originally thought I was going to be like air on it because it's kind of like it looks kind of basic. I didn't know if there was going to be much to it. But I'm definitely feeling like once we start getting multiple Sentinels going at once, all with multiple various abilities, and then there's tons of enemies to t think of, and then we've got different abilities that we can use and all that kind of stuff, I think it's going to actually get pretty, pretty interesting. So Natsuno Minami, uh, she's the one that walked in on, uh, in, in Fuyukaya? I always forget the names. She's, I think she's one that walked in at some point. Did she? Possibly. Uh, we can't actually go to the, the thought log right now. But we're going to save it there. Just keep saving in new data until I have to save over a previous one. Always, always best to save in as many save slots as possible in case something messes up. Cool, cool. Okay, man. Honestly, I am so into this. I'm really liking it. I hope you're enjoying it too. I'm finding it so interesting figuring all this stuff out and wondering where it's going to go. Hope you're enjoying. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I will see you next time for more 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim. Thanks for watching. See you then.